This is the Convoy S6. It's my going to work everyday carry. It's bright, durable, and simple to use. If it does get damaged or lost, no big deal, because it only cost me 20 bucks. This is the Lumen Top FW3A. It's my going to town everyday carry. It's elegant looking, weighs next to nothing, and has the jaw-dropping power you want when you show a light off to your friends. This is the Lumen Top LM10. If the S6 is my going to work EDC and the FW3A is my going to town, then the LM10 is my going to the Oscars and planning to hear my name called EDC. And the winner of the National Television Award for Most Fabulous Actor a Drama Performance goes to Matt Smith. <laughs> More great lights after a message from our sponsor. Okay, there's not actually really any sponsor. I just made that up. Um, these lights were sent to me for review by Neil's Gadgets. We are going to see more about the LM10, but I also want to show you some other, uh, some bon bonus lights, we'll call it. The... FW21 Pro is also out. I know it's not an EDC, but we need to see beam shots. And also the GT Mini Pro. Both of those are XHP 50.2 lights. And one more you could call an EDC. That is the HL3A, which is a headlamp built on the same platform as the FW3A. Real quick, I want to tell you what I like about the LM10. I I think that is a beautiful light, and what I like the most about it is that it's really creative looking, but without getting all juvenile. This, to me, is a very good execution. It really looks like something. Um, it feels amazing. I got the sandblasted finish on mine, and it feels... Really similar to uh, like type 3 anodizing in a matte finish. It's sticky. My other favorite thing about this, we've got the sole of FW3A in here. The function is the same, the user interface, but right here this is a one-piece body. So no more accidentally unscrewing tail caps, and I love what they did with the clip. That is super sturdy and it doubles as a tuning fork. They're saying it's a titanium alloy and not giving us any other information I could find about that so I don't know what the alloy part is, but I love it. It, it feels good, it is a little bit heavier than the other uh, FW lights, but not as heavy as a brass light in similar size. This is the FW21 Pro, also built with the, on the same platform, same user interface, 21 millimeter diameter battery, but three XHP 50.2 LEDs, 10,000 lumen rated. That is huge for a light this size. The next closest thing I have is probably my Firefly's E07, but it doesn't touch 10,000 lumens. One thing I am going to say about this light is I've tested it and it will make 10,000 lumens at the one second mark. Um, I, after that, it drops to around 8,080 lumens for 15 seconds and then the temperature sensor kicks in and brings it down from there to protect the light. Also Martin Ramner tested his and he got similar results. I don't think the one second mark is a good way to rate a flashlight. That's just my opinion. I'm still very very impressed with this light. It does make 8,000 lumens for most of the burst cycle and so I think it's just incredible. The GT Mini Pro is the updated version of the Lumentop GT Mini. It has the XHP 50.2 in it, 
and an orange peel reflector, 3,500 lumens. It's really a performer, and it does a pretty good job holding its output. Um, I disabled the temperature sensor on mine. Don't, don't do that. You need to leave it on. Um, I ran it for three and a half minutes with no temperature sensor on, and there was just barely any drop in the output. But by the time I was done, I couldn't even hold it by the tail cap. So don't do that. That'll ruin your light. Here in one of those corners, I always forget which one, are links if you want to see the original video where I reviewed the BLF GT Mini and also the FW3A and FW4A. So if you want to see how those function, uh, last but not least, the double band head strap, good stretchy silicone. This is also built on the FW3A platform, meaning it has the same user interface, same set of LED options, but you wear it on your head and it has the bent neck. I think this one could go to all three, to work, to town, or to the Oscars. First up, our Lumen Top LM10. Oh yeah. All the cool white deliciousness. Not even really a bluey white or a yellow white. Now, let's jump up to our FW21 Pro. all the way to the end down there almost as wide as it is long <laughs> it's short but when it's running it's pretty magnificent we can bump it up again though get a little more run out of it I can still still touch the head a little bit so you can just run it twice like that now let's have a look at our throwers this is the original BLF GT mini super laser that's the XPL high edition Now let's do the BLF GT Mini Pro. This light does a good job keeping its output up just for fun. Since I happen to be wearing it, let's do the HL3A headlamp.
you'd like to lay hold of any of these bad boys, the links for purchase are in the description along with coupon codes. As always guys, super thanks for watching. Good lucks. Thank <laughs> you.